Okay, this happens to every guitar player. You're just sounding bad lately. And bad is a subjective term. Maybe you just play the same stuff. It sounds good, but you just kind of keep playing the same thing over and over. And even if that same thing over and over is a complicated, flashy, impressive thing maybe to most people, it's still, to you, not really fulfilling the musical instinct, the chase inside of you to find something new. It's just comfortable, like an old girlfriend. But don't go back to that bimbo. Carry onward. Find something new, something fresh, something original. But that's easier said than done, isn't it? Well, I have a solution for you contained in this video. Leave a comment below. What is the best way to get out of a musical rut for you? It's something I've been told by many different guitar players over my time interviewing and hanging out with some of the greatest to ever do it. They've all told me the same thing. And maybe you know what I'm about to say. That's right. Change your tuning. You could go from this, which sounds great. <laughs> to this. All I did was go to drop D and you heard the nastiness meter go up by about 17%. Being a little facetious here, but the concept of changing your guitar tuning will instantly refresh whatever creative instincts you're having. Whether those are good, bad, or non-existent, if you need a change of pace, change your guitar's tuning. And of course, drop D would be the first place I'd start. <laughs> Now before we get too far, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Sweetwater. They sent me the C414s from AKG, a stereo pair of microphones that I've been using on literally all my content lately. These are incredibly versatile microphones that I highly recommend in any sort of context from vocals to voiceover to guitar recording. You're going to hear my preferred vocal setting, as you can see right here. Just out of frame, I'm using it as a boom mic and then I have my guitar amplifier mic'd back there with a bass cut and a different cardioid pattern. The electronics that they've added to this otherwise very classic looking microphone. Ooh, look, it matches my cab. Cool. I don't know, gear can be one way to get you out of a creative rut. So check out Sweetwater if you want to purchase these microphones and get mic'd up or all your other gear needs, Sweetwater's the place to go and you know that. But beyond gear, let's say you don't have any money to spend. <laughs> Seems the first thing you do when you enter a new tuning is find some chords and maybe some ringing strings for some new scale patterns. Maybe these are positions that you already know that you're just translating to the new tuning, or you can find brand new pathways. Exploring tunings in this way can really be creatively stimulating, and especially when you move to something less familiar than even drop D, something like this. Yeah, I could record that right now, and that just came out of this tuning. I've never tuned to this. I found it on a Reddit message board. <laughs> and I wanted to try something I've never tried before, but I love the concept of changing your tuning for inspiration. Clearly that's what just happened right there. Oh, that's sweet, it's a power chord right here. It's actually, this is a unison note. The new power chord shape, baby. So I could really just take those chords and thrash them up. I mean, that's already two sections of a song. <laughs> I just played a unison melody. It's actually a really nice melody.
a little awkward right now, but with the chords I'm hearing in my head. That could be going on in the back of it. I think I just wrote an entire riff, man. Just out of this weird tuning. I'll record it. And then we'll move on to some other things that can get you out of a musical rut. way to break free of ruts is to explore different musical genres. So if we're talking about guitar players in particular rather than songwriting approaches to breaking ruts, a guitar rut that you often find yourself in is playing the same techniques and the same scales with those techniques. So what I find is changing up my technique can quickly yield new creative results. And a technique that's not new for me but it's really useful for this video, the song Midnight by Joe Satriani. technique like that can really get your juices going, even if you're just covering the song that it comes from. But you can find, once you get good at it, you start to translate it to your own situation. Those are chord changes from a song that I wrote last year called Pops. And, you know, the Joe Sastriani song. It's very kind of Baroque, to quote another one of his song titles, a very classical sounding. My song's a lot more rock, but that tapping technique influenced the way the song went. My own musical voice dictated the harmony and the rhythm and all the other elements of the song. So that is the beauty of getting out of the creative rut. It's tapping into stuff that you're already good at and authentically you. You know, getting out of a rut doesn't mean just changing your style altogether. You should never abandon who you are as a musician, but you should be flexible to bend and grow and evolve. As a guitar player in particular, when we're talking about guitar, you have to be willing to throw away what's worked before, if only for the time being. That's what I find is you never forget where you came from. And as you saw, I'm mixing up the gear. I'm not gonna recommend that you buy something to get out of a creative rut. Looping pedals or any pedals, whatever you think will excite you, sure, go for it. But when it comes down to it, you should be able to move forward with your musical self with just what's inside and what's in your hands already. Chasing after technical skills can be a gamifying way to go about it. And of course, collaborating with others these are all ways to step outside that box that you're so comfortably in that is closing you up. Find a way past the lame licks that you're playing and then go back to them because they're really awesome and fun to play. I hope this message finds you well and I hope you have a great day. Till next time, keep shredding.